And that's how seven-year-old Rodney Burton arrived to his first day on the job. His title, chief for the day. I don't got nothing to say. It was just fun. <laughs> Sometimes at a loss for words, but you can tell Rodney is enjoying this moment, especially after everything he's been through. Rodney has been battling sickle cell disease since he was a baby, and just last year he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. He's able to wake up every day with a smile on his face, no matter what pain he may be in or no matter what he may go through, and he always gives praise and thanks to God, no matter what. Rodney, dressed for the part from head to toe, was welcomed to police headquarters by several officers and state troopers, and inside, he was saluted and cheered. Rodney has always had a love for law enforcement, and Detroit Police Chief James Craig decided to share the limelight with him. You want the city to do what? I want the city to be protected. We really enjoy uh, doing this kind of work in our community. It means a lot. This is what really defines our police department. Out. I will faithfully. I will faithfully enforce the laws of the state. Enforce the laws of the state. He took an oath, and he got to give some police officials the day off. What, you want to give him a day off? Yeah. Okay. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I like you. You're a good chief. And we decided to give him a taste of what it's like to field questions from reporters. We asked, what do you say when you arrest someone? I put, make them put their hands behind the back and put handcuffs on them and say, you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> How do you think Rodney handled the fanfare and the reporters? With coolness. <laughs> he probably handled it better than I did. He just told me one thing, just be nice. <laughs> and one of the things Rodney is looking forward to doing today, arresting a bad guy. At police headquarters, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit.